we have a word problem uh, that involves a trigonometric function, in this case, the cosine. We've got this function h of t equals 16.8 minus 15.7 times the cosine of 1.9t. So t is time here. So this is time in minutes. And what this whole function represents is someone's height above the ground when they're riding a Ferris wheel. So you can imagine we've got this big Ferris wheel, person's in a little car on the Ferris wheel, and as the Ferris wheel turns, they might get closer to the ground, and then they start to get higher up above the ground, and then they go closer to the ground again, and so on and so forth around the circle. So this is a periodic function, and functions like this, situations like this in the real world, can be represented with uh, sine and cosine functions. You can really think of this person in the car as taking a trip around the outside of the unit circle. It's the same kind of thing. In this case, we're being asked to find the minimum height of this person above the ground. So we're being asked to find the minimum value of this function. We're also being asked to find the number of revolutions per minute. A, a full revolution is the period of this function, and we know how to find the period of a function. Uh, and then when we do per minute, because the function is in terms of minutes, we're just going to take the, the inverse or the reciprocal of that. So the, this is actually called the frequency of the function. And the frequency is going to be 1 over the period of the function. And then we're be also being asked to find the period of this function. We know how to do that already. So I think the, the only trick here is making sure we know how to look at this function in its more general form. So here we've got a copy of this general form of the function. We have d plus a times the cosine of b times t. So d, of course, is our, our vertical translation. And a is going to be our amplitude, or the absolute value of that is our amplitude. Um, and so we can use this general form to, to figure out these things. Let's start by looking at the minimum height. The minimum height, the closest this person is going to get to the ground, the smallest value this function have. It depends on the amplitude of the function and also this vertical translation. So our formula for this is that vertical translation d minus the amplitude. In our case, d here is 16.8. So 16.8 minus the amplitude. And the amplitude is the absolute value of, of this number. Absolute value of negative 15.7 is 15.7. So we're going to subtract 15.7, and we're going to get 1.1. And this is in meters. So the minimum height uh, above the ground is 1.1. 0.1 meters. OK. The next part here says the number of revolutions per minute. That is the frequency. So we need to find the period and then take 1 over the period, or the reciprocal of the period. And we need to find the period for part 3 anyway. So let's go ahead and find the period. The period of uh, any trigonometric function like this is 2 pi over b, where b is this number that's multiplied by your variable inside the, the, the cosine part of the function. In our case, b is 1.9. So our period here is going to be 2 pi over 1.9. And in this case, they are asking for um, decimals, and they're asking us to round to the nearest hundredth. So let me pull out my calculator here. And I'm going to take uh, pi and multiply it by 2 and divide it by 1.9. And I'm getting 3.31. So our period here is 3.31. and this is how long the, the um, Ferris wheel takes to uh, do a complete revolution. So when we're talking about our period, we're talking about minutes. So 3.31 minutes. Now our frequency is really um, the period, uh, uh, the reciprocal of the period. So we're going to have 1 over the period here. So that is going to be 1 over 3.31, or you could think of this as 1.9 over 2 pi. Either way is going to come out to the same value. I'm just going to hit my 1 over x key on my calculator, and this is giving me 0.30, rounding to the nearest hundredth. And the frequency here is going to be our revolutions per minute. So that is how to solve a word problem 
involving a trigonometric function where you need to find things like the min minimum or the maximum or uh, the frequency of a function.